Lumberjacks on uh, YouTube and Lumberjacks. This is going to be an introductory uh, video of projects that uh, my father uh, worked on in the early early days. As you look uh, past me here, you'll see this area where there's a, a waterfall. Wherever you have waterfalls, then you're able to harness the, the water. You're able to use it to do work for yourself, such as uh, uh, I've made a video, making a video of a water-powered sawmill, water-powered planer. But uh, the main reason for water power, of course, is to produce electricity. This dream of my father, you might say, started, was generated many, many years ago. Down the road from us about seven miles, they put in a hydroelectric plant, not a large one on the Shushok River there. And understand my father asked them if they were going to provide electricity for the Maple Lake Valley, which isn't a long ways, it's only seven miles, but they said no, they weren't. So my father went home and started thinking about it, how could he make his own? The first two water power plants, I barely remember the first one, located near a house, and uh, water was piped in from, from the creek. Now the property that we had at that time didn't include this waterfall. This was purchased at a later date in the late 50s, early 60s, when uh, he wanted to fulfill his dream of producing more power where he had more fall. The first water power plants were almost on, you might call it, level ground in some respects. They were able to uh, dam the creek in such a way and uh, divert it into a pond and then to uh, headstock went into a power plant. There was only about, uh, I think, less than 20 feet fall there, but using a large quantity of water through a large pipe, and I believe there was two water wheels uh, in the second power plant. And it produced uh, direct current, 110 volts of direct current. I can show you the uh, generator that was used there. So as far as I can remember, I was born in 1947. We always had electricity, but it was always direct current. It was chiefly for light bulbs. And of course, later on, when uh, appliances came out, everything that we bought had to operate on uh, direct current, 110 volts. Not very common, but there was some devices you could get to uh, operate on that. So you can see why, as things became more wa modern, that he wanted to build a water plant that will uh, generate electricity in the AC mode in a larger quantity. So anyway, I'm going to uh, show you uh, uh, what's left of that uh, installation, the water wheel installation, etc. The second uh, installation was done in late 1970s with some outside help from uh, another institution there. So it was expanded into what you'll see to see in the uh, in another one of these videos. So anyway, I will uh, now take you to uh, the uh, dam and the and the water wheel uh, where the first uh, electricity was produced on this peak. So if you subscribe to my channel, I. Uh, will not be able to uh, put uh, some of this on right away possibly, but at least you'll 
get the updates as I'm able to do them. Thank you.